Okay, what we have here is a Nook color. <coughs> Standard Nook, the original Nook color. Uh, and it has been, it has CM10 on it, loaded onto it, so it's Android 4.1. Um, I don't know how well you can see this, but I put CM10 on it, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to play emulators using a Wii remote and a Wii Classic controller. Um, these things have Bluetooth built into them, so uh, that's how it connects. Uh, I'm just going to demonstrate some emulators that you can use if you put this on your Nook color. So, first I'm just going to show how you do this, how well this comes in, but I've got this app called Wiimote Controller. I mean, fire that up. And basically, it's just a couple of buttons. One you initialize and connect, and two, help you select your IME, which is, I don't know, your keyboard or your input. So, the first thing that I always do, I, I leave the Bluetooth off unless, unless I'm doing this. So I turn the Bluetooth on by hitting that button, give it a minute or two, and then on the Wii remote, there's a little red button here that people are probably familiar with. You push that button and you're, you'll get some flashing lights and then I hit the init and connect button. And it'll say initializing, searching, and there it says found Wii remote. Uh, classic controller plugged in. The classic controller plugs into the whatever the the nunchuck plug-in. I don't know what that's called. Anyway, then you hit this other button and it changes your IME, which normally you're on a keyboard. So you just tap that button and you're all plugged in, ready to go. And so I've got um, several emulators. I've got an NES, a Game Boy, Game Boy Color, a Game Boy Advance, a Super Nintendo, and Genesis. And I there's a lot of other ones you could probably use but I'm just going to demonstrate some of the games and how well this setup works uh, let's start it's upside down okay so I got my little controller here It's pretty smooth, just like a Nintendo, pretty much. So you can play all these games that you used to play. You can go kick some ass in the. just like when you were a kid. Or. however old you were when you played Contra. So, anyway. I could do this all day, but you get the idea. Contra runs pretty smooth. Pretty much every game for the NES runs really smooth and easy. Alright, well, I'm never going to die, so... Alright, might as well finish the level, right?
Just like that. Okay. And then pick a different game. You just go back to your list of games. Mm, there's Kung Fu. That's fun. Super Mario Brothers. Mm. Didn't last long there. Okay, uh what else? These are all this 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 ROMs or this emulator is called Nessoid. I I've got all the OID emulators, so I don't know. They just all work good. Let me show how you I've basically got these all set up and ready to go, but you have to, in the settings, and that's why I like the OID ones, because all the settings menus are the same. You have to map your buttons. Uh, you go input settings, and you can map your buttons, and it, and then also there's this other settings, and there's a use input method checkbox, and you want to check that. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. So, uh... Here's the Game Boy. Whoop, upside down again. There's the Game Boy. This camera's not that great. But this is pretty... Pretty good. Just like playing on a Game Boy. I used to have one of these and... Pretty fun. Lots of good games. Uh, and then also, this, this emulator can also do the uh, Game Boy Color, which is what this game is. Zelda. Yeah. There you go. Ah, this is a good game. Fun game. I was, I was like this one. Final Fantasy Adventure. That's kind of a Zelda. The first Zelda kind of game. Anyway. This game you can play. This game will take you hours. It's a Final Fantasy game. So, anyway. Alright, so that's the Game Boy, Game Boy Color emulator. And there's also Game Boy Advance. Got some. Got several games for that. WarioWare, that's a good one. But yeah, they all work. This, the Game Boy Advance games work really well. This game's kind of fun. Works perfect. Use the controller. Um, so there's some other games that might test this thing. Uh, Advance Wars. I mean. a lot of good games for this. Works great. Game Boy Advance works works just fine. And all the interface is the same with these OID ones. So this next one is SNESOID. Super Nintendo, which is one of the best systems there ever could have been. And all on this old Nook, so Nook is a pretty, pretty sweet machine, really. See, here's Mario, Super Mario World. Sw swimming level, but yeah, just plays perfectly. And there is just a zillion great 
Super Nintendo games. Oh, uh, what's a good one? Turtles, Ninja Turtles in Time, or Turtles in Time, whatever. What is called? I think I have a save state. You can save your state. It's just like any other emulator. You can save your state, so you can save it any time. Basically, that's kind of nice. If you get to a hard level, a hard part of the game, you just you know, save it and start right over if you die. Yeah, this is always a fun arcade type game. Smashing buttons kind of game. Mario Kart, NBA Jam, uh, Final Fight. F Zero it was one of the first games. This is just does just perfect. Looks good. The screen on the no color is really good, so it's good for this kind of stuff. Anyway, just near perfect, just like playing on the real deal. Okay, uh, I got one more emulator that I've got on here. I'm sure there's there's lots of other. You could get Atari 2600 if you like that, or Spectrum. I don't know. Commodore 64. We got some a Genesis. It's called. I don't know what it's called. Genzoid. Okay, what I do? Sonic games run just fine, and this controller works really good. I think you could use the Wii remote, but there's not as many buttons. This this classic controller costs 20 bucks, and it works just great. It's got the two buttons on top. It's got the Super Nintendo layout here, and it's even got the sticks. So, oh yeah. I don't know how accurate the sound is with this one, but. But yeah, these games just run just fine. Lots of good Genesis games. So, I always liked Golden Axe. I used to pump quarters in that game all the time. Pretty much kind of like Ninja Turtles in Time. You just run along and smash buttons. But what could be more fun? It might get a blister or two, but it's fun. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna keep playing this game. Well, anyway, that's pretty much it. There's also a Nintendo 64 and uh, PlayStation emulators that I've seen videos on YouTube of people running them smoothly. I tried to run the Nintendo 64 emulator and it just wasn't very playable. I mean, it ran, but uh, not real well, so... I don't know. There's probably ways to do that. I mean, you have to overclock or something. I don't really know. But anyway, that's just just showing you what you can do with one of these bad boys. It's a pretty nice little tablet, considering you can buy these like refurbished for like fifty or sixty bucks now. I think they're they're dirt cheap, and and I do other. I mean, 
I look read comics and read regular books with this, and you can get online. I mean, but yeah, the emulators thing I just discovered is really great on this thing. So anyway, just thought I would show people that so they could maybe get some ideas for something to do.